Hi, my name is Boyd Dog, and this is just going to be a quick guide on how I like to play the Pantheon. Um, I know he has been nerfed quite a bit recently, well, not quite so recently, but his ult is now highly reduced in range, and his defensive ability, his, his defenses are simply weak, but I think he's still a viable option. He has quite a lot of damage potential still. So the items I like to buy first for Pantheon is either the Mechie Pendant or and the health po a couple of health potions or the boots and two health potions and one mana potion. Um, I find that either works really well because the boots just lets you move around easier so you can harass more and the Mechie Pendant lets you be able to use your spirit throw more often which lets you harass better. So for my first skill, I always take the Q skill, which is your spear throw. It's good ranged attack, it does decent damage for a low level, and can keep your enemies at bay for a while. And it kind of makes you able to act as a ranged champion for the early part of the game. Uh, so you can keep your enemies off of minions, and it's really good to use it to, especially against the. If there's like a mage at all, it's really good to use it against them because usually the mages or ranged champions start out with like about 400 health and you can take out quite a bit of that health by continuously hitting them with your spear throw and most of those champions are really dependent on, the, on you on their farming early on so if you are able to destroy their ability to farm early, then you can pretty much screw them over. I personally like to stack with the Sword of the Occult because Champion Pantheon starts to get kind of weak later in the game, so you really gotta take it to them early on and get the stacks up because without them you really don't have that much to offer for your team because later on in the game you're not gonna be able to like use your combo and go and one hit people. As soon as I get my ult, when I'm playing as Pantheon, um, you want to try to gank using your ult. Um, now that his range on his ult is very limited, um, I would suggest that you try to gank mid. You can just move off to um, the middle and jump in on the enemy champion. Uh, freeing up mid is also usually really good for your team because if you can take down the mid turret, it totally destroys their enemy solo lane, so uh, it their their carry is going to be totally screwed over for leveling, and you just pretty much level fuck them. When uh, I start to get on to my second item that I'm going to buy, I usually go for the Yuma's Ghost Play, because uh, the active is actually quite useful for chasing down people with when with Pantheon, because you always want to be able to get into range to be able to use your stun, heart seeker strike, and spear throw combo. Uh, so, and to catch those extra speedy champions, you need to get that like, little extra bit of speed, and it gives you some good attack speed. And it's just really good when you have team fights to be able to increase your attack speed and your speed, because Pantheon really doesn't have that many escape mechanisms. He actually has none, which is why I always run Flash and Ghost as my summer spells. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I'm going to do it now. During your early game play, you want to be really aggressive, and once you get start getting to later in the game, you want to try to hunt down people in a 1v1 battles, because team fights are really not your domain anymore, you don't do enough damage, and you're easily focused. So, you want to, like, usually I try running around in jungle or cornering people in the lanes uh, when people are starting to group up for team fights and that kind of thing. So using your ult to jump onto people who are alone, make sure you know they're alone. But if you use your ult to jump onto people, it can get you some good gold uh, later in the game because uh, you can expect to die a lot in your team fights because Pantheon is just doesn't have enough health to survive most of the time. So want to get as much gold as you can early game. That's about it for the guide part of this video, but feel free to watch the rest of the uh, gameplay, and if you like this video, please like, and if you'd like to see more League of Legends guides or anything like that, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel.
I post like gameplays of me playing all the games on my computer, so feel free to subscribe.